Hey Spuddies, Potato McWhiskey here and welcome to Let's Play Evil Bank Manager. Uh, we're just going to be doing a one-off sort of let's try this video. This video is sponsored by Chrono.gg who did give me a key on behalf of the developers. If you also want to get a hold of this game yourself, go ahead and click on the link in the description of the video, chrono.gg forward slash potato McWhiskey. And you can go ahead and buy the game. It is on sale today and today only, I think, on Chrono.gg and you'll be able to get it. Uh, right there. Let's, uh, let's jump right into it. I really don't know much about this game. I watched one uh, Let's Play from another person whose name I completely forget now. Uh, so we're going to look here and choose a nation. Let's see, we could play as England. Cost of maintaining branches in the country. England is lower. Opening new countries. Cost 25% cheaper. Cost of France. You get 25% more, more influence. Castile is lower. At the end of the year, you get 1% of cash. I'm not sure what that means. Uh, cost of maintaining branches Austria. Development of the Federal Reserve requires 20% less resources. Hmm. Uh, let's do... Let's do Austria. I think this is Austria. Although, what are these? Cost of development departments. Players branch troops go to 20% faster. Your guard produces 20% for fear. This should capital bank is 25% more. Oh, wow. We're gonna go for capitalist. I don't know what this means. Development of the Federal Reserve. All right, let's go for it. Uh, let's do medium. <clears throat> I don't really know much about this game, but we're going to try to figure it out together. Play maybe like a half an hour, 40 minutes to see if we can get something happening. All right, let's see here. For a start, you need some employees. Let's hire some people for both loan and investment departments. So then I need to go to headquarters. Uh, you can either have amateurs or more experience professionals, but especially has more money. So let's find an amateur. We found an amateur. He has loans, guard, diplomacy departments. All right, he's good for investments. Let's grab him. We need to assign him to the investment department. We click on him. We click on credits. Find an employee for the loan department. All right. Uh, this guy looks decent. He's got four points. Now we need to start investing and giving loans to states. To gain access to the markets, go to the world map. All right, up here. Click. I'd like to zoom out if I could. It's a little zoomed in. Uh, you need to know how to purchase bank the state, you need to gain access to more regions around the state, the more the less it costs. Let's start with a business with a small state. Great, this state is a prosperous one. We're in Parma, I guess. Alright, let's open. You need to do some market research on possible investments. Alright. So this is Parma. We have opened up Parma. <laughs> uh, this map, how do I zoom it out? Is there a zoom out function? We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Need some time. Next move. Each turn your bank incurs uh, expenses for servicing its branches and paying salaries to employees. You can see the details of these expenses. Make sure you always have enough funds. Otherwise, you can have to declare bankruptcy. All right, got it. Top to cover expenses. Your staff found a few great options to make profit. So let's go in here. The investments department. Ah, we could buy a logger's hut. Purchase this property. Did I not purchase it? I don't think I purchased it. Issuing loans is a great way to make profit. Profit per turn, 5.3% moves 800. We'll issue that. It'll take a little time to make profit. All right. Let's go to the next move. Uh, the property required gain some resources. Take a profit, we can sell them on the stock exchange. Sell all extracted resources. Boom. If open our branches ground, increase the value of the property, we can make money on the sale of the property. Hey, we did make some money. Hey, we made some money. Cool. We'll need all available funds to defeat our competitors. You can find out information about your competitors up here. We'll be able to bring their competition to the Federal Reserve System. Whoever has a number of countries organized military fund, if a bank plays, you control all the politics of the most powerful states. Will that recover? Just like first trades will be in hurry up and accumulate enough money. Don't have enough time. I've your banking license expired, though you'll have to give up your struggle for power. Think about every turn. Good luck. 
Uh, this will be the potato bank. Uh, potato and... Where's the ants on? There we go. And sons. Potato and sons. So we've got a lot of buttons we can click on. Uh, let's have a look and see if we can maybe do some investments. There's a mine in here. It's 13,000. Uh, base price. It's actually a little bit cheaper than its base price and it produces that much per turn. Let's grab that. Let's check out our loans. See managers. We could upgrade the building. We don't need to. Let's go. It's, um, can I issue more of these? All right, cool. We issued a loan. How much money do we need to keep in the bank? Hire more employees, department espionage. All right, so what can I do here? This is influence. Conduct. Meeting. Oh, so this is invest in infrastructure. Not available to move trees. So we made these guys a little bit friendlier by spending some of our influence there. How do I get a spy? We could hire pros or experts. Let's just get some amateurs. We'll find two amateurs. Give us a good chance. And uh, both these guys are sucky, so we'll do it again. There we go. There's a number five. All right, we'll hire this guy. He's got five. We'll slap him in there. So he will generate... Uh, will generate influence. influence. For us. What is this? Military? A lot worry about the guards just yet. Might do that in a month or two. Right, maximum investments. Let's uh, let's let time pass here. We've got some resources. Warm countries. The bank owns an army. Allow us to make income and during wars. Let's start production. All right. Production maps need industrial resources. We have some iron. Our to provide a limited number of weapons per move. So I order these weapons. I assume I can sell them to someone. I've got one of these left. So this takes up some work and some iron. So how do I do the exchange? I could sell this one iron. I want to sell uh, arms. So by converting those, I made it worth more. How do I sell that directly? Let me have a look. Is there a way to sell to the government? Manage the second I might develop for basic resources. Manage real estate items. Let's have a look in here. We've got a house we could purchase. It's a little bit cheaper than it normally would be, so let's grab it. How do I, I forget how to manage my investments. Uh, do, 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 do. How do I sell them again? Is it in here? I have completely forgotten how to sell my investments. Um... Damn. <laughs> I, there was a button for it, and I, I can't find it. Capital. Exchange. Map. Competitor bank investments. This is the events. Real estate. There we go. We've got a house. We've got a mine. 
that has increased in value. We've got a house here. It is making us some profit per turn. Might be worth it to hold on to this if the value doesn't go up. I wish there was a way to track how much uh, it had done. But right now we've actually, I like the idea of investing a lot into industry and uh, just getting a lot of passive income. So I'm not sure how do I sell weapons other than on the exchange, but I'm gonna hold on to those weapons for now to see if their price goes up. I pretty much spent most of my money. So let's just go ahead and go to the next turn. We've got an investment in here maybe. There is a tree felling operation. I would love to get that. You batch of weapons, investment properly, department of investment. So this hire an employee in the diplomacy department. All right, cool. Let's get a guard now. Uh, this guy has slightly better skills overall here. So we'll hire him. So that's the guard taken care of. These are our farms. We have farms. Ah, there we go. This is the thing. So I don't know. So it's kind of hard to tell. I kind of want to build up my investments and then use uh, and then just sell the resources and get passive income. I think that's a really powerful thing. I mean, I, I'm sure there's probably a lot of money to be made by. Um... Now, I could just sell this raw iron, but it sells for a decent amount more if you convert it up to a thing. I need to figure out how do I sell them to countries? But yeah, let's let's make some more of these weapons in the armory. Uh, we have a little bit of iron halberds. We'll do like a split. We'll do swords this time, I think. So we have an, uh, uh, you know, a little bit of mo a little bit of both. Seems like swords sell a little bit better. I don't know what this is. This is like this is like the historical price. I think I might sell some of these swords. We can always get more next turn. Uh, unfortunately, I don't really have the money. Could I issue loans is the question. So this is going to make me a bit of profit. So unfortunately, I don't really have the money to um, expected minimum value is 1000. Got it. <clears throat> oh, we got to send some guards to collect the debt. So it looks like this loan went through. Requires a bit of intimidation. Let's recover that debt. Hire employees in the credit department. Issue three loans. All right, we can do that. I think I've already issued two. So yeah, it looks like we're going to try to recover that money. So what's going on on the map? Oh, there we go. We can zoom out now. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. I would ideally like to start investing in Austria as well, but it looks like I'm kind of in Parma. Um... Oh, these are expensive to get into, I think. Yeah, it's 250k just to get in here. Damn. Let's start building up our investments in Parma then, I guess. I could go to Tuscany and stuff like that, but we still we think, we think, think there's still a lot we can do in here. Um, I've got a bunch of weapons. Let's go ahead and craft some stuff in the armory. Make some swords. I remember them having a pretty good price compared to these. Price has gone up. Sell these. All right, that sounds good to me. What about a property investment? What do we got today? We've got a cottage. It's 9,000. Uh, it is slightly cheaper. I'm going to buy that and see how it uh, how it turns out for us. Should, in theory. Wait, where's my other house? Don't I have two houses? I 
Am I crazy? Do, did I not have two houses? Let's just let's go to next move. Hold on. I thought I bought two houses. What's going on here? Did they combine together? Make a fifteen hundred a turn off that, so that's pretty decent. We could always sell them if we wanted. What have we got in here? A stonecutter's camp. Well. Hmm. Let's make some palberts. Alright. Uh, espionage. I think there's diplomacy here. Let's do a meeting with these guys. I could invest into some of this agriculture and stuff. It's already nearly max level. So we'll just keep meeting these guys and start trying to bring up our relationship with Parma. Not available till move 7. So there's gathering, negotiation, summit, etc. Alright, we'll keep working on that. Invest in property. Issue three loans. Can I issue another loan? It looks like we collected those debts. Just fine. Luxury. Yeah, we have no luxury property. Great building. Uh, it looks like these buildings like combined together or something. I'm a little confused because I had two of these real estate items, and I think they combined together or something. We'll see how that goes. Currently it's like 15,000. Let's check that out. How much is it worth now? Alright, the value is going up. The question is, can we invest in something more profitable? We could get a second iron ore mine. And we have the money for this actually, so we grab that. And then if we go to our production screen... So now, okay, looks like they combine together or something, which is weird, but I'm okay with it. Let's get some swords. Uh, what's selling well right now? Looks like swords have dropped in value. Looks like these are both dropped in value. So basically, uh, these cost three iron each. These cost uh, f these cost four. So I want prices better. So it looks like these swords are pretty still a pretty good price. So we'll go ahead and sell those off. Get a little bit of money out of that. Got some property. Uh, I can't issue any loans this turn, can I? We could issue a Parma loan. Parma, Parma. Parma, 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 Staff. I think I don't. I, I don't think I can have any more staff. If I want more staff, well, it really depends on which area of the business I want to continue to work on. And right now, loan seems like a good place to invest. So, how do I upgrade this? What would this let me do? Requirements: headquarters and stone. Okay, so I'm going to need stone mines and stuff. So, where's my HQ? All right, there it is. So, can I upgrade you? Let's have a look. I need to have two regions unlocked. I need to have 40. So I need some luxuries. All right. I'm going to need some of this stuff in here. Got it. Grain sells really well, actually. I'd love to get a farm. All right. So I don't think there's much we can do with this money that we have. I could I could start selling off some of my, my businesses, but... Oh, there's a war going on. My valid sponsor here because you're next. So I guess we'll join this war. Let's sell them. Oh, they'll pay nine for this now. All right. We sold them a little bit of money. That'll help them out winning. Do 
Do I invest some gold in here? No, I'm just going to invest this and see how they feel. Alright, looks like the war here could go well for us. Any wars over in this place? So we've invested in that war now. Could I uh, potentially craft more stuff? Or did I use all my iron? I think I used all my iron. So tell you what, we will go ahead and just go to the next move. We'll check out that war in a second. <clears throat> Alright, so we've got three turns till here. All property of the captured region will be plundered and lose half of the base value. So we need to be careful about who we invest into and who we back. We might get ourselves in a situation where two of our neighbor, two of our guys want to go to war. So we want to kind of invest carefully then. Uh, let's check. Is there a loan available? All right, we're going to issue this loan. Not sure how loans work, but there it is. What kind of property could we get our hands on? Ooh, a land allotment. I'm not sure what this produces, but we'll grab it. Oh, it produces grain. So now if we go over to our grain farm. Check this out. Oh, that's easier to do it from here. That's the wrong button, damn it. Uh, we check out our grain farm. We're now producing 30 grain per turn, which is pretty good. This is starting to stagnate in value. I'm tempted to sell up uh, this cottage. We'll see. Uh, I've got some money. I could get some weapons if I wanted to influence. I may as well participate in some wars to see if uh, if I can get good prices. So I tell you what, I'm going to go to this war. I'm going to join on the side of Russia. I'm going to see if they want to buy some weapons. Uh, wait, why are the colors all messed up? Okay, we're in Parma. So I want to go to my capital. I want to produce some weapons. Uh, we'll maybe make a few of these and a few of these. It's a good split. Use up some of our work. So I'm not sure where available work comes from. We'll have to figure that out. But now if we go back to the war screen, we talk to Russia. We sell them some weapons. They'll pay 9.3 versus Corzum paying uh, probably a similar-ish price. In fact, the swords sell really well. I'm going to sell a few more swords to Corzum. And sell some uh, Palbirds to Russia. See how they do with those. What's that war up? Might be worth it to take part in the Japanese war as well. So we could open a new country, but I'm kind of focusing on my investments here. Ah, here's a really cheap uh, logger's hut right there. It's super cheap and it'll produce uh, some nice resources for us to try to take over the world. It's only producing nine per year, but uh, that's not terrible. Cost of sewing plus 30 per year. Oh, this is a per year. Okay. I don't know what this is, These, this number here. No luxury properties yet. Still building up value. Any loans to make? Uh, do we got any loans we need to recover? Look like it. I guess we can just go to the next turn. Issue three loans, we get some extra fear. Improve your relations. All oh, right, so diplomacy is something I've been neglecting a little bit here. Uh, let's do... <clears throat> Let me see. What actions have I got? So I can do gatherings now. 
And I think I might automatically do gatherings. Because I think... They do slightly better. Neutrality plus four. I, sh I gotta figure out what these do. That's a good point. I shouldn't click on these buttons until I know what they do. Right, let's go to the next turn. No investments, right? I already did investments this turn. Yeah, I did. Ah, investments in the territory of the winner have not lost value. We didn't get anything out of it, though. Ooh, a lot of wars going on. So there's a really good chance of us uh, making some money off of our armory. Let's make one of each of these to see what the prices are. Uh, let's make a few of each of these. Let's go to the war screen. We got this Russia battle going on. They sell them some weapons. Crossbows are real valuable, actually, right now. Halberds are starting to get some value, too. I could sell them a whole bunch of weapons. Is there another war that I want to happen? I could really upset France and weaken them. We helped out here. Man, if I, I, I'm kind of tempted to, to join Brittany here. And sell them a bunch of weapons. They're like, hey, yo. Win this war, buddy. Dropped a bunch of weapons on their heads. So that means uh, Brittany has a good chance of winning. Alright, so let's... Park it. Wait, why is this red? I do need to open more countries, but I'm just trying to build up value. End of war. So back here to the capital. Best in property, new batch of weapons, open a new country. So the end of this war. I'm still invest gold. Interesting. So it looks like they won this battle with Perm. Which is interesting. Oh, I can click and see where the wars are. Ah, here we go. This is what I was looking for. So, ah, I see. I see, I see, I see. How do I make this smaller? Go away. So this is... Uh, resources. Uh, I see luxuries only exist in certain parts of the map. And my investments. Okay, this is all starting to make a bit more sense. Jeez, it's expensive to get into some of these countries, man. Glad I got into Parma while it was cheap. What's this? Competitor banks. So this is where my enemies are. They're all over the place. Region power level. Well, I got into a pretty, uh, pretty strong events war. All right, go back to diplomacy view. Let's head into our capital. Open a new country. Yeah, I know that's a goal. Improve relations with my country. So five oh eight does. Um. Yeah, let's do a meeting. Gave me a bit of uh, relations with them. Invest in property. Let's check this out. What do we got in terms of property in here? It looks like we found another house. So we buy that. That'll join the uh, current housing that I have, right? Yeah, it's all combining together to make a lot of profit. This is nice passive income that I want to rely on. Uh, we've also got an armory in here. We can influence some wars. Crossbows seem to be selling a little bit better. 
do a nice mix of these. Don't have much available work, which kind of sucks. Industry. All right, all right, all right. End of a war. Let's check out the war screen. Now, we did have a war we were participating in, France and Brittany. What if I sell them some more weapons? Wait, what? Yeah, okay. This 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 screen here is a little confusing. This is backwards. So Brittany has Oh, I see. Brittany should be winning. Yeah, we just kind of... It's cool that we can influence the game. Like, we just gave Brittany this new province. Which made it cheaper to invest into and damaged any of my competitors. So that's something you got to keep an eye out for, too. You could damage your competitors. It's actually a really fun little game. I might play more of it. Uh, so basically... Guild of Scribes. This will produce books. Alright, we'll grab that. Now, out of curiosity... What does that look like? The luxury. So this is producing one book per turn. So I think it is it is getting about to the time where we open up another um before we turn three turns. It's 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 looking about we're getting close to the time where we want to either upgrade our capital or develop into a new region. I think I'd like to develop into a new region. That'll give me two places that I can do uh, operations in. So what is this, auto production? There's not much in the way of available work. I don't know how to make that a bigger, but let's make some more swords. I think it might be something to do with the upgrade here. Yeah, it'll double the amount of work we can have in here. So I need some stone. I need to upgrade my headquarters. But first, I'd like to expand. How's espionage and diplomacy? Yeah, I need more influence. Let me have a look here. We've got a dude with five. What happens if I try to hire a pro? S is 39. S is 40. You only give 30 influence. You give 50. Okay, I think I understand this a little bit better. So I want the higher influence. It doesn't say. This guy only gives 30, okay. So I understand that a little bit better. We burnt a little bit of money figuring that out, but that's okay. Any wars that I care about? No, not that I can tell. Let's check out our investments here. Oh, we got a super cheap house. Of course we buy that. Why wouldn't we? This continues to add value to this. Give me that nice gold per turn. Being a landowner is good. Alright, we've got this going on. Good stuff. We've got a lot of base production. How's our loans looking? Still got a borrower here. <clears throat> I'd like to buy into another one of these, this particular country's things, because I want to try and focus on one country at first, build up my relationship with them. Um, so we've got Parma. But unfortunately, it looks like they don't have any more uh, places they want me to invest. So we'd have to try and influence them into going to war. And I don't, and that means I don't want to invest in some of these guys. So I want to look for somewhere nice and cheap that I can invest. Maybe start influencing that nation. 
Well, shit, all these are expensive. I could invest in Brittany, that's cheap. Western Ireland might be a good move. I could use my, my, uh, my power to get Ireland to take over Scotland and stuff. Western Ireland is probably my best place to, to go next because it's cheap enough. All these other places are like super expensive. I mean, there are a couple of cheap ones, but I don't want to invest anywhere too near Parma. Or our investments, when a Parma, when we eventually help Parma expand, our investments will get absolutely crushed. Oh, there's science. Oh, shoot. An extra 100 influence per turn. I want that. Each open region produces an extra 150 gold per turn. 100 fear per turn. I feel like 150 gold per turn is pretty good. And an extra 500 work per turn. So it'll take another two turns, but that's fine. Alright, nice. Let's go check out our capital. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will open a new country eventually. Did I already do my investments this turn? I did. I did my loans and diplomacy, right? Alright, we learned about science. What about our stats? Where are we? Hey, we're actually pretty valuable. God, I don't know what this IMF thing is. But we're only in one region and we have good value. Now, that does mean we're a little bit more vulnerable than some of these other guys. Uh, to, like, a critical thing happening in this city. Alright, so... We need to keep maintain a value above 5,000. I think we can do that. Let's check the wars quickly. Anyone at war that I care about? No, Parma and stuff isn't at war. It's probably just a good opportunity to sell weapons. Make some moolah. There's no available work. Oh, we're auto-producing um, these... That's a no-no. Don't do that. Let's check our investments. Anything worth purchasing? Definitely want to get a super cheap stonecutter's camp. Even if it only produces one per turn. Um, important thing... <clears throat> is that we have it now as an option and maybe we'll... Whatever, we'll sell it. It's not, it's pretty useless. It's probably a bad move. Uh, let's check our loan. So you want me to improve relations. Five twenty. Up to seven hundred now. So hopefully one more improve will uh, improve our relations here a little bit. So I can increase infrastructure. Level 20, 20. Like, these are all maxed out. What happens if I invest? Can I invest in real estate? Did that work? Let's just invest in the whole country. I don't know what that did. It used up a lot of my money, though. The bank owning a share in the IMF goes it should be sold at the next auction. The end, the only strongest survive. So I just invested, like, money into a thing. And I don't know what that did for me. I've got a bunch of resources coming in, though. What's the wars looking like? Just fine. What do we got investment-wise? Shitty house, but it'll produce gold. Uh, let's have a look at the exchange here. We've got some books. Books are worth a bit of money. I want to hold all to my books in case they're useful for something. Let's head in here and, uh, make some swords. Make a few crossbows. We have plenty of work now available. Thanks to getting this, uh, bonus thing. Gift of speech. This extra gold is really nice. Received 3% of the IMF. Ooh, there is a tech tree, boys. Hmm. 
We could get our headquarters leveled up for free here. Let's go ahead and get that, and then let's do an upgrade to this. So we need to get some flax, sapphire, and skin. We need to open a new region. Well, that's gonna be hard. Cancel that, just do this. How much is it to sell? Arms. So my arms are, get, arms are getting cheap. Let's have a look for a war that we can maybe participate in. I want to make England lose wars to potentially strengthen other people. So let's join this war. And uh, we're going to join on the side of Denmark and we're going to sell them basically all of our weapons. Make a whole bunch of money out of that. Sell them a few crossbows too. You go Denmark. Congratulations, you're now winning. So they should uh, they should be able to hold there. Actually, London might get crushed on that front now. We'll head to the capital. We sold a bunch of money. Uh, I'd love to make a little bit more money to get into a new region. So I might hold off on any major investments. Purchase the Guild of Scribes. We are not getting good options in here. That that did this did like slightly boost his current guild though, because they kind of combined together in a weird way that I don't really fully understand yet. Um, but yeah, I want to I want to make a little bit more money because I want to go over to Ireland. I want to invest in there. So let's just do a next move here. Uh, let's head back to my armory. And let's just make a bunch of swords since they're a little bit of a better value. And see if we can find a war that we can flip the favor of. Now, one of the advantages here of what I just did is it makes things cheaper. So is there a place you want to invest in here? Austria's at war, I think. Parma's not at war, which is good, because we want them to, uh, to be happy. Let's help out Hungary. Sell them a bunch of weapons. There you go. Now we can invest in Ireland. So we shall do that. Go ahead to the normal map here. So Ireland has a pretty small army. Pretty small investment size. Yeah, this is the sort of country that we could invest into quite a bit. And it does produce a luxury. Let's open up this market. Alright, cool. So, how's our Parma? If I click on Parma, what's going on in here? You can see my investments. My investments have reached nearly the maximum, so I can't invest anymore. Ah, so this makes a lot more sense. Um, as to why I opened up another country, because now I can start investing in another country, because I've hit the maximum amount of investment that I can do in Parma. That makes a lot more sense as to why those things were really, really cheap and not kind of working out for me. Alright, we're starting to understand, understand the game a little bit. A little bit better. Uh, I want to head in here. I'm going to sell this. I think I need to wait a turn. I may as well just buy that. So I'm at my maximum investments in Parma, so hopefully we'll find some investments in Ireland. Yeah, here's a grain, grain farm, nice. Got some loans, maybe. So we need to get these guys upgraded. We are generating resources pretty rapidly, which is always good. What's going on here? So yeah, I want to level this up. Because this will open me up some new... Um, some new stuff. So i got to find flax, sapphire, and skin in the exchange. Um, buy... Skin, I think I wanted 10. 
think I wanted 20 of these, and I think I wanted 30 flax. I think that was everything, right? Oh, flax. Did I click on the wrong thing? Wait, were these not lining up correctly? Did I not buy skin? Oh. They weren't, they weren't, they were like misaligned or maybe I just misread them or something. Right now, oh, I need even more flax. How much flax do I have? Oh, I need 10 more. Whoops. Flax is... Yeah, oh, do you know what I was doing? I thought this name associated with these. That's that's what that's what messed me up there. All right, so now we can do an upgrade on the old capital building. Now that we're level two, we might be able to hire some new people, right? No, we need to do other upgrades, but. So, for example, I've been relying pretty heavily on investments, but I think I'd like to maybe get loans up. So I'll need 256 stone. So let's go ahead and look on the exchange here. By uh, industry. 256. It's a thousand. It's not bad. Let's upgrade the building. Maybe that's not the right thing, because what I actually want is this upgraded. Number of investment proposals in the region. Let's do loans first, I guess. Since we have the points for that. Now if I go in here, I should be able to hire. Whoa, what's this button? Loan to an opponent's bank. Interesting. Didn't know about that. But I want to hire more people. So I think that's I like go to the headquarters or something. Let's see. Yeah, we get credits department. Let's find some pros, some experts. There's a level 8 guy here. And a level 7 guy. It totally beats out this guy. They do cost quite a bit more, but they do allow me to get more loans. Got a bigger maximum of the loans that I can give out, which is good. Uh, let's just go to the next turn. Generate a bit of resources. Let's uh, let's go to the armory and uh, make some stuff. I think these swords are still selling really well. Crossbows are always selling well. Uh, let's check out the wars. Nothing going on there. Let me go to espionage here. Revolution. Hello. So for some reason, my like friendship with these guys, I'm going to say just automatically do meetings with these guys like all the time. For some reason, my friendship with these guys goes down, even though I did investments in them. Which is kind of annoying. Ireland could definitely use some investments, but we're going to hold off on that. I don't know what this profit means. Like, what does this what does this profit mean? Like, why is the profit here so high compared to this? All right, what have we got investment wise? All right, we got some Western Ireland stuff. We could get something in Parma. Pick that up. <clears throat> got some real estate here in Parma. This is building up some serious value. I think I've got wheat I can sell too. We'll hold on to that wheat. Might be useful. At a later date. So we need 150 stone to upgrade our armory. I don't think we need to do that. We've got plenty of work. What we need is more resources. Got no resources to make these with though. 
Um, in terms of current standings, I think maybe we just sell stuff, right? Go look for a war that we can swing. Let's make Brittany win every war. Hell yeah. Join the war on the side of Brittany. Be really annoying. Completely cripple France. Give them a bunch of weapons. Because I'm pretty sure by helping Brittany win, we uh, we make it so that France's investments cripple and any of our competitors in France just basically get absolutely murderized. Uh, so we've got a little bit of cash in here. Let's go back to the capital. What have we got investment wise? Uh, loans. That's something I need to check every turn. All right, we've got 3,000 loan. All right, two turns before the return on that. This is a 3,000 loan. And it looks like the profit will be 3,000. So out of curiosity, can I loan to these guys? Is there a danger in doing this? The Bank of Lombardy. Sell them, uh, let's give them 2,000. The cost. So how do I check this? I got borrowers. A 4.4% interest is pretty good. Let's go to the next move. I don't think I can do investments here unless they're really cheap. Get the stone cutters cap. I think I'm at my max investments in Lombardy though. Or Parma. Yeah, I'm still at my max. I need to... Um, what I really need to do is I need to upgrade this building. So what, is it, what does it take to upgrade this building? 357 stone. So... 357, coffee 1400, that's fine. What this is going to allow me to do is uh, just spend more of my money on investments, I think. So now if I go to the next move and I go to the map and I check out these guys, Parma. No, that didn't actually make it, uh, make my investments better. <clears throat> my relationship is better though. We're up to respect. We do a gathering, a meeting of minds, a melding of brains. Oh shoot, I can start wars now. Hell yeah, go to war with Liguria. Cost you 14,000. So yeah, we're going to start trying to make Parma huge and super powerful. I'm going to pop that in there. Respect plus one. All right, let's have a look. All right, let's go to the next move. Oh, we completed this. Take that. What do you want me to do? Produce 500 iron. It's an easy mission. We've already got it. So let's make some swords. They seem to sell the best. Got a bunch of available work. Uh, could start a war. I don't think it's. I don't think we're quite ready for that. My sword. Brittany, we shall sell you all of our weapons. Make a bunch of cash. I could start a war for Parma. Um, that would make it easy to invest in the next property over. But I want to wait until I have some weapons built up. And to that end, I'd like to do some investing. All right, we'll get an iron mine in Western Ireland. That means we can produce a lot more weapons. That's good, that's good, that's good. So what was this other category be unlocked? Invest in region. Oh, this increases my maximum investment. So if I invest some money in here, 
the maximum amount of investment that I can do in that country goes up. All right, that makes sense. So if I go in here and I open this up and I say, hey, let me invest more in you. Then the stonecutters camp becomes better because my maximum investments in this country is increased. Right? Yeah, okay, so we can do this every 20 turns. That's useful to know. All right, we're learning. Let's go to the next move. Expected minimum level is 10,000. All right, that's doable. We got 1,000 iron. We got the exchange. Let's head up to the armory. Uh... I think swords are still the most valuable thing there. Any wars going on? Not that we care about right now. I think swords are still the better value. I don't know, they've actually dropped in value a little bit. Let's just go to the next turn. I was collected twice a year, spring and obviously not be five grain from not be added every move. Selling price of property depends on a large number of properties possible to the unit just for you. I spawn is a different different region, it's therefore the property also has a base pack, whatever the price is in the usual average region. Improve your relationship, get a bunch of weapons, invest in property. Alright, they want me to produce 500 weapons. That's easy enough to do. Let's get some halberds and see what the price is like for both of these. Yeah, it looks like uh, halberds barely make a profit. Swords are still pretty good. The real thing is I want to get into wood production, because that's where the money is right now. Unfortunately, I can't really invest into Parma anymore. Kind of reached our limit there. Um, we're up to respect plus three. We can start wars if we want. Don't really have the money for investments in Ireland, unfortunately. I would like this fur manufacturing works, but let's just see about loans. We got any debtors? Nope. We got two 3,000 uh, coin loans. Looks like decent profit. <laughs> End up making us a bit of cash. Yeah, 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 I know I'm low on gold. Wait, what? No, that, no, but I, I, I'm not bankrupt. I have things I can sell. I have money. I'm just going into a little bit of debt. Damn it. All right. <laughs> God damn it. If you want to play this game, go ahead and check it out on the uh, link in the description, chrono.gg for, for, chrono forward slash potato McWhiskey. There'll also be a little graphic popping up. I might actually play more of this game. This is kind of fun. But other than that, that's it for me. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this uh, little check out video uh it was a sponsored video i will actually i kind of enjoyed this game so i might check it out some more when i find time because it's like literally every game in the universe coming out like in the next few days like hearts of iron uh factory town Ugh, i just don't even know what to do with myself there's so many games coming out but yeah that's it for me i love you all very much and i'll see you next time Bye bye